So let's have a look at some more arithmetic sequence questions. And you can see over here, I've got my formula for you, the rule for the arithmetic sequence, the TN formula. So TN is simply our nth term. And you know that the A is going to be our first term. And D is the common difference. Make sure you know what each of these pronumerals mean. And the rule, TN equals to A plus N minus 1 D, which gives us the nth term. Um, and we'll try some questions now. So, if you have a look at question one, it says, if the first three terms are 5, 9, and 13, which term is 401? So they give us the first three terms, 5, 9, and 13. And from that, you can see that they're using the, we're going to use this formula as well, of course. Tn is n a plus n minus 1 d, because we want to know which term is 401, which means what value of n makes this value of Tn equal to 401. That's what it's asking. So we have to eventually find n. But we can't find n if we don't know what a is and we don't know what d is. So we're going to find what the first term and the common difference is. And as you can see, if they give us the first three terms, you can see that clearly the first term is 5. They give us that 5 is the first term. So the first term, a, is going to be simply 5. That's, it was, that was pretty simple, wasn't it? Now the common difference. 5 plus what is, four, sorry, 5 plus what is 9? Nine? 9 plus what is 13? They're all 4, isn't it? And another way you can find it is simply doing 9 minus 5, which I did here, and it was 4, or 13 minus 9, which is also going to be 4. So that's the common difference. I found it really, really easily. So I know what the first term is. I know what the common difference is. Let's put those into our formula like this. So A is 5. N we don't know, and that's what we want to find, don't we? So that's N minus 1, leave it as it is. And then the common difference, we found that it's 4. And we want to know which term this makes 401. So we want to make that equal to 401 and find N. So let's solve, for, let's solve the algebra. I'm going to expand it out. So 4 times N is 4N, and 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Our 5 minus 4 is 1, so I make the left-hand side 4n plus 1, and simplify further, guys, I subtract away the 1, so 401 minus 1 is 400, and then finally divide by 4, guys, it's going to be 100. So we found n equals to 100. What does that mean? That means the 100th term will give us 401. So the answer was the 100th term.